guest is a talented actress you know from her work on shows such as Made and The Leftovers and films like Once Upon a Time in Hollywood and Poor Things. She currently stars in Drive Away Dolls, which is in theaters now. Let's take a look. Where do you want to go? Tallahassee. Tallahassee. What's wrong with Tallahassee? It's very nice. There's Spanish moss I and live oak. Curly here. Don't call me Curly. And your name Curly? My name is Curly. We just met. It's too familiar. Have you ever been to Tallahassee? No, I got good sense. Your car is a Dodge Aries. Oh, OK. Is that a good car? Not really. You sell those shirts? Please welcome back to the show, Margaret Qualley, everybody! <laughs> friend welcome back to the show thanks is it true that this is a big night for you this is your first late night talk show that you're doing sober yes wow <laughs> that's so yeah. exciting and to clarify like i'm not sober like i'm i'll i'll do it again tonight or tomorrow so you'll have a drink after the show this is just the Probably. first time you've done an interview sober yes got it yeah. what a delight <laughs> What an honor that you think you could do it with me without yeah, I you don't know, know tying what I was one thinking. on. Yeah. yeah. Are you regretting <laughs> it? Pour one now? No, I'm just kidding. I'm fine. Okay. Um good. no, yeah. Did you start having a little drink before an interview because you were a little nervous? Yes. Yes. And I'm still a little nervous, but hi. But I um I, I just figure. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Next time I see you on a talk show, you're going to be so in the bag. Here's the thing, though. Well, I thought, like, I felt, to be honest, I was like, you know, I seem high. Like, I th I'm laughing too much. But now I'm realizing that it's still happening. <laughs> yeah. So, so, you know what? It might just be me. It might. You know what? I'm yeah. glad we finally <laughs> stopped blaming alcohol. <laughs> This is so exciting, Margaret. You yeah. bought a horse. I did. That's fantastic. What made you do that? Well, I mean, OK, I grew up in Montana and mm -hmm. North Carolina, horse country. And then I was looking for a horse for a while. And then I bought a horse, but I didn't just buy, like, I didn't buy, like, a trained horse. Like, I bought, like, a baby horse with this, like, idea that just I could train it myself. A loose horse? <laughs> we watched this documentary about, like, um, God, what was it called? It, it, it's about, like, Taming Stallions. <laughs> and I was like... By, by the way, based on you not knowing the title, <laughs> I'm not sure you absorbed how to tame a stallion. <laughs> so you watched a documentary, and you're like, I can do this, and you went out and bought a small horse. <laughs> All right, so how old is the horse? <laughs> Two. Okay. And what's the horse? I can't ride him yet. He's okay. too young to be ridden. Okay, gotcha. So but we're doing the... groundwork. All right. What, how old is a horse it's when big. you can first... It's quite get... big. What's the name of him? Are we, is this like a who's on first right now? <laughs> Your horse's name is big. Yes. Okay. But you was very small when you got it. Mm, he's small in years. Okay. Large in size. Uh, he was always a big horse though. Yes. How old is big going to be before you can ride him? Uh, I've been putting weight on him. I've been testing it with my body, you know, leaning over him. <laughs> is this, was this in the documentary? <laughs> Like I feel like somebody. Well, you know, this is the horse that's been handled. It's like a, it's like a Labrador puppy in the, the in comparison to like a wolf, a young wolf of a stallion. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> I'll pretend I follow. So, <laughs> are you worried that people are going to think you're? And don't take this the wrong way. Like one of those horse people. Out of my depth. Yes. Okay. Um. <laughs> yes. No. Okay. I think it's a really fine line. You know. Well, first of all, I would rather. I would prefer to be more. Cowgirl than equestrian. I think okay. that's something that you Got can. Got it. I understand and then the distinction. Beyond that, I want to make sure. I'm okay. When I leave the stable, Jack says that I have like horse brain, which is, just means that I'm kind of like smiling, just like life needs you to do. And I'm cool with that. But like, there's also like horse girl. And if you become horse girl, like growing up, there was this girl, Danielle, in my grade. And like, she was always drawing horses, you know? Yeah. And like, she had like the horse notebook and the horse backpack. And like, it felt sexual, you know? Oh. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Once again, I once again, it, Margaret, so like... you've zigged when I expected a zag. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Whoa, 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 whoa. But, like, you know, like, a, a young girl talking about bareback, like, it's just dangerous yep, yep. territory. It is dangerous territory. And now I'm regretting a lot of high school conversations I had. 
<laughs> you, this, speaking of something that's maybe a little uncomfortable, uh, Drive Away Dolls, which yeah. is very funny and a wonderful cast, and um, it was not originally called Drive Away Dolls. Drive Away Dykes. Drive Away Dykes yeah. was the original title. And it's then, a great title. It is a, Drive Away Dykes is a great title. Yeah. And then did they just say, did marketing say we can't call it Drive Away Dykes? I think that. I think that, I think that some places wouldn't put it like on the marquee, like on the, yeah. to get it in, to go to the theater. And you yeah. need it in, the, you do. And we wanted everyone to be able to. To see it. Yeah. Well, that makes a lot of sense. That... But I love Drive Away Dykes, the yeah. movie and the title. Yes. And this is a film which is a really fun film to, promote on late night television, but having seen this very funny film, I would imagine daytime shows, it's a little trickier. They wouldn't show the clip. They wouldn't show the clip on the daytime show. There's, there's a dildo in most scenes. The dildos are everywhere. Yeah. Yes. There's the most dildos per scene in this film. Yes. That's amazing. Yes. To break a record like that. So many dildos, so much gay sex. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Did you, uh, you did some interesting press in San Francisco as far as the location. Yes, we where, went to, yeah, well, where did we go? <laughs> you went to a vibrator museum? <laughs> yes, yeah. that's what we did. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to catch that for you, but then I thought, what did I do again? <laughs> I'm gonna do I like, a vibrator museum. I mean, I, you know what, I gotta be honest, I would have assumed it was more <laughs> memorable than that. No, it was memorable, but it, you know, I wanted more time there, but I left thinking, like, I don't know that anyone should put that inside of them. Like, those ancient vibrators, like... Oh, yeah. <laughs> it seemed dangerous. Yes. Well, I think we can all appreciate the scientists that worked so hard for the technological improvements. Ad advances, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> They're the real heroes. Thank I know, you all the TV shows are about NASA. Meanwhile, those guys... Yeah. Or ladies, probably ladies, right? Probably, I yeah. would hope. I bet the early ones were guys, and then some ladies were like, yeah, they hey, were, get out of here. Yeah. 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 This looks yeah. like a lawnmower. Get out of here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're going to do it from now on. Yeah. Um, uh, Geraldine and Beanie, your yeah. co-stars, they've both been here promoting this film. They are lovely people. I know. It must be fun to promote a movie that's both very funny and also that you like your castmates. Yes, I mean, I just love both of them. Yeah, they're like truly some, yeah, the best people. Did you know them before and... this or? Um, no, okay. well, no. Right. <laughs> it's not a trick question. <laughs> oh, I... you didn't. Well, interesting, <laughs> we have some photos. <laughs> You, um, uh, you've also, uh, no, you, uh, did you direct Jack's video? I did, but I didn't direct it in the same, like, Jack likes to say that, like, I didn't, like, put on, like, a baseball cap and say, like, I got this, you know? Right. It wasn't like that. It was more like, I'm not, like, trying to, I can't do that, you know? Yeah. I, I like being an actress. Um, but I, I made up a dance for it. Okay. This is, uh, this is a Bleacher song? A Bleacher song. So. It's called Tiny Moves. Yeah. Bleacher song, Tiny Moves. I'm gonna make up a dance to the songs kind of regardless but then you know i wasn't working and i was like maybe i should just make this dance really good and then show people and then um i yeah i like had an idea of how i would want it to be shot and then ended up directing it myself but like i'm not a director okay but you directed this video and some uh fans of uh, of uh um jack's band are a little upset because he's barely in the video I gave him a cameo. <laughs> <laughs> so it's your husband's band, and you're in the entire video, and then he, yes. at the very end, he turns up. Yes. <laughs> yes. And he obviously must have been okay with that if he signed yeah, up. Yeah, he was fine okay. with it, yeah. And my, my, I, made, I came up with the plot, which was that he would watch me dance for basically the entire duration of the song, and at the end, I'd be like, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. Um, we could hear in uh, the clip that you have a different accent in this film than uh, your accent in real life. I don't know what you're talking about. You, you have a different <laughs> accent. How did you develop the voice for this movie? Because it is, I will say, very unlike anything I've ever heard before. Yeah. Um, it's not subtle. I went for, like, some... Okay, the references were Tommy Lee Jones yep. and Ann Richards. Yep, former uh, governor of Texas. Exactly. Gotcha. And um, that keynote address is like burned in yes. my brain. Um, anyway, so somewhere where, you know, a world where those two things come together and then like a little bit of, of uh, <laughs> that. Yeah, a little yeah. bit of horse girl. Yeah, <laughs> With a little bit of horse girl. <laughs> uh, it seemed like a movie that was very fun to make. 
It was the best time. Yeah, I yeah. like I love Ethan Cohen and Trisha Cook so much. They're just the very best. And then I got to, you know, Geraldine and Beanie, yeah. the whole thing. It was just like the it was I was genuinely like sad that it, I as I was making it knowing that it was going to go by too fast, you know. Like I felt like a parent with their I felt like what I would imagine you like looking at your young child and be like, "Oh, yeah. these days are not going to last forever." It was like, I'm I yeah, do that so. all the time. I'm like, "Oh." Yeah. <laughs> By the way, I, I meant to say, do you remember the last time we saw each other? Because I was yes, with my kids. I do remember. Yeah, we were in Washington Square Park, and I was watching, yes. walking my kids, and you were walking by, and you were on the well, phone. Yeah. And uh, I waved, and you waved, and then you said on the phone, you go, I just saw Seth Meyers and his kids. And my kids go, oh, how does she know us? <laughs> and I'm like, she doesn't know you? And they're both like, oh. <laughs> really cute. I'm like, she doesn't think I'm just walking around with like two <laughs> small dudes. Uh, it is always so nice to have you here. Thank you so, so much. Thanks. Congrats on the movie. Thanks. That's Margaret Qualley, everyone. Driveway Dolls in theaters now. Stick around. Be right back with Chef Emilio Otolo.